All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this week's men's hockey media availability. We'll start with an opening statement from head coach Mike Hastings. Uh, you know what? Uh, look forward to the opportunity to get back on the road a little bit. It'll be our, uh, I think, our fifth and sixth game uh, since the second half started. Um, it's been a good start for us up until this point. It was very hard fought, hard fought five or six points from uh, Lake State last weekend. And as you can see in our league right now, where the standings are from top to bottom, um, there's really just not a lot of room to take a breath. Um, one, because of standings. Two, also just, you know, the competitive nature from top to bottom in our league. Anybody can beat anybody, and that's not going to be any different. Uh, we're going into a place uh, that's very difficult to, to play, uh, big-time home ice advantage. Um, you know, we, we haven't been able to win a hockey game against this group so far, so uh, we've got an uphill climb here, but I uh, look forward to having the opportunity to get on the road with the, with the group. Start with our first question from Kevin Dudley. When you look at what Ferris did to you guys last time, I think it, it's kind of reminiscent of what Lake State tried to do last weekend just with the way they're committed to defending. I think Ferris blocked, what was it, 47 shots last time they were here. What, what's kind of the key to trying to, 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 to break through that? Because you know you know that's what they're going to gonna bring. Yeah, you know what, as you progress in a season, all teams just they, they grow in the idea of understanding they have to commit to defend. Um, a puck doesn't get to your goaltender, it's not going to go in. And I thought the commitment level of, of Ferris State last time they were in our building was greater than ours uh, in that aspect of their game. So, you know, at this time you earn everything you get. Nobody's giving you anything. They're playing about as well as, as anybody in their home building. Uh, they play fast. Um, they don't give you a lot of opportunity to get on them uh, you know, from a forechecking standpoint because they're really good at relieving pressure and then putting pressure at where that puck goes um, and not giving you a lot of time and space. So um, I'm sure the students are back in town, so that place can be a very, very intimidating uh, building. Um, and so, you know, just like it's going to have to be at the end of the year, you're going to have to go earn what you, what you get. Carson. Coach, one guy that I wanted to – bring up from Bowling Green is Austin Swankler. He's somebody that you guys have known uh, for a couple of years now and is a front runner for the Hobie this year. When you have a player like that on the opposing team, is, is there a way that you guys like to switch up your defense? Or, I mean, is he somebody that you guys look at and is like, hey, we need to, you know, double team him or does your defense pretty much just stay the same? Well, there's a couple of things there. One, are you on the road or are you at home? At home, you get last change. Uh, so you can dictate a little bit of your matchup, post-whistle, stoppage of play. When you're on the road, you don't have that opportunity. So, you know, that that diminishes a little bit. Second thing is, is you, you need to be aware of uh, the other team's best players, what makes them tick. Um, you know, are they special team driven? Are they a lot of their points on the power play is at five on five? Uh, Swankler's a really good hockey player, um, and there's a lot of them that we have in our league. So, for us right now, you know, one thing that I think Ferris poses as an issue is their depth. You know, they they up and down their lineup, they're committed to playing with and without the puck. I think they're getting outstanding goaltending. Um, and then they've got a guy that's been around the block before in, in Bobby Daniels in preparation. So, you know, for us, when anytime you're playing against the other team's uh, best players, you better be aware when they're on their rank, um, whether that's Swankler or whether that's anybody else. You guys have won six straight road games now. Um, it's really, I think, been something you guys have done well, winning any kind of game on the road lately. Uh, is there confidence, you think, in this group growing because of that? Oh, you know what? The, the one thing I'd say that I, I don't think anybody's intimidated, but I don't, you know, I don't know if we're overconfident by any means in going into to playing in such a an environment like uh, Fair State. Um, you know, this group's done a good job at in the second half of focusing on what their dailies are and get a control. We get a control. Maybe there's a few less distractions on the road than there is at home. Um, and so the guys have found some consistency that way, and we're going to need it. Um, 
it hasn't been easy and it never is when you're on the road. So, you know, hopefully our Thursday's uh, an uneventful travel day and we can get there and get settled and, um, you know, dictate what we get to dictate, which is our Thursday night practice. Akito Hirose, um, CCHA defensive player of the week. We talked about him some uh, during the weekend, but just to, to talk a little bit more, um, I think he's a guy, you know, we've, we've kind of joked a little bit in the last two weeks about, you know, he initially before ASU joked he didn't have a goal, and now he's got three goals in three straight games. Since then, he's happy to see a guy that I think maybe sometimes goes a little unrecognized or has this year getting, you know, paid and getting, you know, some recognition here for how well he's playing. Yeah, a couple of things. One, and then as our conversation has been over the last couple of weeks, um, he, he's he's got a just a renowned focus for the second half. He he's reestablished himself on his dailies, um, coming to the rink and just wanting to get better every day. And I know that's that sounds boring, whether you're listening to media or or you know. Uh, doesn't matter. It's just a, he's an everyday right now, and he's starting to build, I think, some confidence through that. Um, he's good every day. Uh, it's not just Fridays and Saturdays. He doesn't flip the switch on and all of a sudden uh, do things a little bit differently. So uh, really happy that he's having some of this success, one for our club, but more importantly for him because I think when you have somebody that's emulating the – um, proper work ethic and detail and then all of a sudden the points come with that it's real easy as a coach to be able to point to to keto and say hey you know what just follow what he's doing um, because it's working for him so you know happy for him I need him to continue on that on that uh, journey right now because he's been our best player Carson coach you've had uh, the opportunity to see Simon Tessie this past weekend um just judging from what you saw from there and heading into Ferris State this weekend, is there a chance that you, you know, we'd be able to see him on taking on more of a role, maybe on whether that be power play or penalty kill or first line? What what have you seen from him, and what are you thinking from him this weekend? Just progress. You know, we can't ask too much of him too soon. Um, he's managing everything that he. Ken right now as far as his his dailies and his work ethic and preparation. He's still trying to get in game shape. The only way you do that is going out and playing back-to-back games and putting yourself in that position. And the only way he gets to do that is if he has a good week. And he's had a good week. Um, We're excited about where he's going. Um, But, again, I I caution, you know, our staff, everybody else about let's just – let's give him some opportunity here to get settled in. Uh, because his, you know, his journey has been one that's been um, delayed as far as here at MSU and going through a significant injury like that. So, um, but I like what I'm seeing. Same thing as you. Same thing as others. Um, he's put a lot of preparation, a lot of work into being ready to take on what we've been able to put on his plate so far, and hopefully that continues. Just another one about Akito. You know, we've seen since he's been here, you use him you know, power play, three on three. I think he he kind of excels in those situations. Talk about the hockey sense that just is so apparent with him. You see it in the way he sees the ice, uh, the way he passes. Just, I just feel like it's a special trait and and one that maybe is hard to teach, isn't it? Yeah, I wish I could teach that. (laughs) We'd be giving them out like Um, M&Ms. Great hockey sense, great hockey mind. I remember... You know, after he'd come in and he'd committed to us, and he's, you know, I went out and watched him later in the year, and I was excited about him getting here um, because he was going to make an impact, and he has since the day that he stepped on campus. So, um, the special player, and again, the thing that I'm most impressed about is he's, you know, he's killing penalties at an elite level now for us. Um, he's defending at a at, at a much better, um, you know, intensity. Um, you combine that with a guy that can think that way, see the game that way, all of a sudden you get a pretty special player, and that's the way he's playing. You mentioned, I think, a few weeks ago, Lucas Souter um, was going to be out for, for a while. Just any update on on his progress at this point? Yeah, he won't be making the trip this week, um, and, and I doubt that we'll see him have an opportunity to get on the ice next week. Um, so... 
you know, that that's probably about as far as I can go with it. Um, he is getting better. He is progressing. Um, but I would say, you know, it's it's a stretch to say that we would see him prior to that off week. Any other questions for Coach? Hearing none, we'll grab our student-athlete. Thanks much, Coach. Thank you.